What is going on ladies and gents? It's your boy ISO Casual Gamer at its finest and I'm here to let you guys know that I think you should wait and not buy the next Call of Duty 2021. Don't pre-order the game, wait till it releases and really go from there to see how the game is and give it some time. As much as you want to try out the next Call of Duty, as much as the game looks good initially, I would wait because look at Cold War. I I thought the game was gonna be good, and it's 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 bad. It's just it's a it feels like an unfinished game. There's a lot of issues, and it's it's not great. And the same thing with Warzone. There's continuous issues, and that game is supposed to be making them way more money with the um, money they're making from microtransactions and all this stuff, and it's it's not worth it. I am I'm pretty much at this point I'm over it, you know. And in my opinion, I'm. Just, I'm not really giving them that chance anymore, you know? I'm not gonna put my faith in them at this point and I'm just gonna wait. If the next Call of Duty for 2021 ends up being great, awesome, I'll buy the game, no problem. But I'm not gonna pre-order the game because I, I have no faith. And at this point in time, I don't think the next game is gonna be that great either. So I'm gonna be patient, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna see how the game looks. Maybe after a month or two, if the game is doing amazing and there's getting a lot of actual legitimate praise, not from the people who are sold, you know, some YouTubers that just don't address the issues, then I'll go from there. But I don't think you should buy it. That's my opinion. If you buy it, by all means, you buy what you think is worth it. You buy whatever you want. I just think that we should all be patient and see how it goes because of the track record that Call of Duty in general has been doing. And that's why. If Cold War was actually a great game, it would be a totally different story. And you can't blame it on the pandemic, because if that was an issue, they should have just kept delaying it. And I think the best thing Call of Duty needs to do now is take a break. Take a one year break. Get their shit together. Come back next year in 2022. But then that's, gonna ha that's not going to happen. They're making way too much money. People are buying micro microtransactions. It's, it's not going to happen. At this point, they care way too much about the money, more than about the player base as a whole, because fuck it. Money is what makes the world go, go around, right? It's That's all that matters. So at this point in time, if that's what they want to focus on is the money aspect, then hey, you focus on whatever you want to focus. I'm not going to be there to buy your game. You've lost someone that did enjoy Call of Duty a lot, especially since Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, and all these other great games. But now, lately, it's 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 pretty disappointing that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know in your comments below what you think what you plan on doing and yeah i'll catch you guys later peace